Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Happy, beautiful Monday morning. It's Monday. It's Monday. Hey, oh, hey, oh, it's Monday. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had an amazing, blessed, and safe weekend. I did. I did. Um, I did record some things. Hopefully, I'll be able to get everything up for you guys between today and tomorrow. I, try, I was going to do it yesterday, but I was just too tired. When I came home yesterday from church, I wanted to get some rest and then study my word um, and pray. Oh, I just realized this cat. Uh, maybe it wasn't him. I'll deal with it when I get ready to go. Let's <laughs> go to sign in. My um, pot and. Uh, let me do it now. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I noticed my um, like teapot. Um, it's just a decoration. Well, you probably could clean it really good and put tea in it and serve it. <coughs> but I noticed it had it fallen over. Anyway, yeah, so... Hopefully I better get the video up. But like I said, yesterday I, I took it. I went to sleep and I didn't get up until late in the evening. And... When I did get up late in the evening, I went ahead and washed the dishes, swept the floor, just straightened up a little bit. Next thing I know, it was 11 o'clock at night. <coughs> I lay here and flipped around on YouTube for a bit, fell back to sleep, woke back up. Um, next thing I know, it was 4 in the morning. Jeremiah was up in the kitchen. Um, let me tell y'all something. Yesterday evening, actually four in the morning, four four thirty something like that. Y'all, I had got so hungry. I felt so hungry. It was crazy. Y'all know that type of hungry where in your throat it hurt or something. Like I can't even explain it. Like, like you feel like I haven't eaten in hours and and no days. You know, type of hungry like in my throat. I was hungry. And I'm like, why am I hungry when I ate? I could not figure that out. Like, like my stomach wasn't growling, but it was, it was, it was just letting me know I'm hungry. <laughs> my throat was the worst. <coughs> and I was like, oh my God, this is an uncomfortable feeling all in my chest. And I was like, it's four o'clock in the morning. So what I did when Jeremiah heaped up the taco meat, um, while it was he let it sit in the pan and pot because it had to cool off at this point. So I was like, you know what, let me go in. And I, I put a little bit of meat on one piece of bread um, and f a little bit of, you know, cheese, shredded cheese on top and ate it that way. Um, and I got myself a, um, like a donut. That was it. And some cranberry juice. And I ate that. And, you know, I still felt hungry a bit. As a matter of fact, even right now. I'm like, well, what the heck is this? What is going on? You know, I don't, I don't know what that is or was, but um, because I ate at four o'clock this morning, this morning I probably will not eat till way later in the day, <coughs> even if it was a little bit. So good. So guys, um, Sunday morning, when we were on our way to church, my sister stopped at Starbucks. So this was the first time I got to use my Starbucks gift card for my job. I've had the card for so long that it's been in my, my purse for so long and I finally got to use it. Um... 
I got myself just a, you know, regular dark roast coffee. <coughs> Sugar cream and whipped cream. That was it. <coughs> um, I have a virtual Dunkin' Donuts card they sent me a while ago. Um, I don't even know if that's still, if I'm able to still use it or not. Time for me to deal with that virtual stuff, you know, unless you know, I, I would rather have an actual card in my hand, unless it's a virtual credit card. That stuff, you know, that's different. I can use that to, you know, pay a bill or something, but it's really usually never enough to do that, okay? Um, but yeah, I appreciated the coffee, <laughs> so yeah, that was good. I finished all of it except a little bit. Uh, I think I got a small, or was it a large? I think it was a large I got but it was good um church was good it was great um my dad spoke on um use what you have and I'm gonna try to get that up for you guys I didn't record all the way to the end um you guys I wasn't feeling a hundred percent um I am feeling a lot better than I've been feeling um I did go yesterday I video that for you guys. So I'm trying to stop repeating myself. <coughs> but since I said that, I did go and get an uh, inhaler. Um, prime team mist for the bronchitis. So that's great. I haven't been all that in here. So that feels good. Um, but y'all, it is hot. It is hot. I have the fan in the window. This air conditioner is blowing a bit. Um, the other fan I have sitting right here directed towards me, but it's not on because I think it would have been hard for you guys to hear me if I was to turn that on as well. Um, but I may have to. <laughs> it is 7.25. Now it's 7.33. Um, I actually thought it was later than it was because um, I got up at 5. I laid back down. It's like I can't do it. Got up at six. I was like, mm -mm, lay back down. <laughs> um, so I didn't even get up to six fifty or something like that. Um, prior to getting up, I had laid here saying my prayers. Now my couch is is dipped right here in the middle because this is where I sit and I have my feet always stuck down in there. I need to stop doing that, but it's so comfortable, right? But you can tell this is what I sit most of the time. Or oh, I'm laying here most of the time. Um, it's hot, y'all. I, I feel wet hot, right? And I haven't even really done anything. Um, all I did was get up this morning, washed up. Um, I didn't wash any dishes because there was really none to wash. Just the stuff that, you know, um, Jay used to eat this morning and myself. Um, and get that anytime. Um, and that's it. I did sweep the kitchen this morning because El Chapo food all over the floor. Um, so I swept that up and then I fed him. And then what annoys me was I'm watching him go over to his boat to get his food. Why he got to get his food and shake it and get it all over the floor? He picks it up, you know, he dives in, picks it up out the bowl. And then doing that, so it pops out the bowl, and then he shakes. Gets food everywhere. And I'm like, I'm, I literally just swept. I just put the, the trash in the dustpan. The uh, garbage can, when he goes and now it's food all over the floor again. <laughs> in that general area. So I'll get that a little bit later. Um, but y'all, he been running around here batty this morning. Straight up batty to the point in getting he, he straight chill right now. This nut, y'all. Matter of fact, he was the reason why I woke up. Um, because I truly did oversleep by me being up off and on and up that early. Um, I, I just I was having a hard time getting up. But with this, this one, way right here, he's jumping and flipping and he's playing with something, a top or something he found. Ooh, he was just going wild. And I was like, let me get up. Let me get up for you. Jump up here running on across the couch or something. Or run across my head. Ain't no telling. He's just to do that and he better not. He better not. Because that'll be the day. That'll be the day. 
Um, so anyway, yeah. So guys, uh, this weekend was very nice. Um, after church, like I said, I just came home and got some rest. Um, that was it. I did have to go back out. Um, when I woke up, about the first time I woke up, it was almost seven. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Walgreens closed at eight p.m. And it dawned on me, y'all, I had forgot to pay the rest of my phone bill. It was due yesterday. And I was like, oh, that's right. I was so glad I woke up. Because how I had planned on playing the rest, paying the rest of it, I had forgot to do it on Saturday. And I was unable to. So I had to actually go right back out to Walgreens to load the money on the card to pay the rest of my bill. And I was like, oh, I really didn't want to do it, but I didn't have a choice. Um, I need my phone on. Um, and I didn't want to have to, I had already paid part of it. And if I let it go off, I'd have to repay everything, I, you know. Um, so that's that would have been a waste. So I went ahead and did that. And plus, I needed um, to sign in to work, the VPN. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. When I looked out the window, it looked like it wanted to rain, but it wasn't raining. But by the time I got outside, by the time I got down the stairs, it was raining. <laughs> it wasn't like pouring, but it was coming down a bit. And I had noticed in my car, I remember my dad telling me um, the HHR that I have, they stopped making them like that with the sunroof because they were having so many issues with the sunroof and leakage. And he showed sure right. He showed sure right since he said that I have noticed that there was like water. And I was like, why is my, my window was closed, you know? But I noticed yesterday coming home from church, um, from, not from church, um, I noticed yesterday, or was it Saturday? No, it was it was Saturday. I noticed Saturday when I parked the car and I was closing the sunroof. I noticed that there on the um, side of the roof where the um, material is, it was like a rip. And I could look up, I could see the sun. And I was like, oh, that's what's going on. There is a leakage, a hole right here. And so I kind of try to plug it a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to get some glue, some um, um, uh, super glue or some E6000 or 600, I forget what you call it, and get it in there and seal that up. Um, also, I, I noticed it's on this side and I know it's on the other side. So I was like, oh, that's where the water is coming in. So I'm going to get that repaired. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, I mean, because with the thing, with the the thing coming, you know, closing, I guess that's stopping the water from coming in, um, and by it being, I guess, a tiny hole, um, you know, that what little bit of water that rainwater does come in, it just kind of stays and leaks, you know, and doesn't come down all the way. Um, if that makes sense, y'all, I'm just so tired. To um, my my thoughts are all over the place this morning. Well, always actually, um, but yeah, so I'm gonna definitely get that fixed and you know, clean the inside of my car, wipe it down really good because it is time for that. Um, I'm happy I got my oil changed. Um, now I have to get my muffler, my brakes, I have my starter checked because the car starts but a lot of times it's a it's difficult starting it sometime so something's going on there um, maybe a tune up so it's a lot of things that I need to do still um, especially underneath um, so I'm just going to a little bit by little bit get stuff done um, start with the cheapest on up um, yeah <laughs> Uh, I think I paid most of my bills that needed to be paid. Um, I even paid, yeah, I think I paid most of everything that needed to everything that needed to be, you know, paid. Um, I still got a lot of things to do and catch up on, but it's coming. I trust and believe the Lord in that. Um, I really do. God is good, y'all. Y'all hear me say it all the time. And I'm not saying it for the heck of it, by no means. I said it because it's real. So, y'all, that was my weekend. Uh, 
hole in my lip. It's been a while since I had a hole in my lip. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, we went to uh, Johnny's on Saturday. And I did a video. I did take some pictures. I was, you know, like I said, hopefully get all that up. But I have to tell y'all, this is the first time in ever, right, that I had uh, beef. It was good, but I was not 100% happy uh, about it. This was the first time ever that it was greasy. It was like my bread was dipped in grease. Like when you squeezed it, it was just grease, right? I'm like, oh my God. Like it, the meat, everything was good, but it was greasy. So much so that after I ate my food, I was like, I didn't feel like I wanted to eat anything, especially meat, for a while, for a long time. Like I felt like, uh, you know, and I know that the grease probably just turned into butter in my body, like, you know, just turned into fat, you know, instantly, you know, because when grease gets cold, you pretty much, you know, that's what it looks like to me, lard, you know, and that's what I felt like I was eating. And it was crazy. And I think it's because we were there early. They opened at 11. And uh, we were some of the first ones that was in line. A lot of people, I mean, already was there was people lined up. It was a gentleman there. He was really nice. And he was there just to get uh, icy, icy lemonades. Ice, uh, what you call it? Ice, lemon ice, I forget what you call it, but that's what he was there to get. He said he was having company over, and he wanted to get a bunch of the ices for everyone. And it was so funny, he's like, I'm going to be the life, everybody's going to love me. <laughs> and he was like, I'm coming now, he said, because it's, it's going to be the line, gonna be, and it always is at Johnny's, the line is <clears throat> down the block, around the corner. So if you can get there early, get there early. But... I, I don't think I'll ever go that early again because we got a lot of grease. And I'm thinking maybe it was because we were early. You know, I don't know, but I, I'm not going to go early again because that was cool. Oh. Um, but, you know, otherwise it was good. The icy was good. I haven't had one in a long time. It wasn't as um, lemon and sweet as I remember it being from, you know, back in the day. But nonetheless it was still good right anyway um yeah that was it that was honestly it a little grocery shopping mm -hmm. that was it I did not go donate over the weekend um I'm glad yes I could have used that 70 but um I'm glad to be able to get my stuff back on a, a schedule during the week so that I could have my weekend free um, completely free because think about it Saturday really is the only day that I have free because I go to church on Sunday you know what I'm saying so after church on Sunday I'm, I'm you know knowing that I have to work on Monday I'm not trying to do really anything else I come home and just rest right um, so really my only day free is Saturday um, so it almost don't feel like you have a weekend. You know, it, it would be nice if we could work Monday through Fridays and then have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, and I think I have this Friday off now that I think about it. Um, my sister was talking about with her friend and we're going to go somewhere on Friday. I forget. They're gonna do something on Friday, and I was like, "Oh wow!" Now that you mentioned Friday, I think I have Friday off, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang out with them or anything. Um, I don't know. I think I just might relax. I think I might just relax. I don't know. We'll see. I am trying to get out more and do more um, that don't require me to travel a lot right now. I'm not trying to you know, drive two, three hours anywhere, um, or, you know, I just, like I said, until I get my vehicle fixed, and then when you're riding with other people, you're on their time, and, you know, you get to the point, you know, I try to enjoy myself, but I do get to the point when I be like, oh, I'm ready to go, you know, <laughs> like, even with church, I enjoy church, I enjoy the word, I enjoy the people, um, but I'm glad that it's not, 
hours and hours and hours because I would find it difficult. Not difficult to give Lord my time, you know, um, just difficult in the sense that I want to go home, you know. <laughs> uh, I don't know any other way to explain it. Just in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I'm just ready to go home, right? <sighs> um, yeah, but I'm a lot better, so a lot better, and I'm, I'm happy about that. I did try to sing this Sunday, y'all. I really did. Um, I tried to sing um, um, Our God is an Awesome God. I, I man, I love that song. There's so many different versions of it, but there was one uh, um, one version where the young lady, I can't remember the name or anything because it was so long ago, and she was singing, Our God is an awesome God He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love are God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love. God is an awesome God. Our God. I love that song. He reigns. Oh, God, I love it. And I'm going to keep singing, y'all. Um, it's harder than it was back in the day. Like, I used to really be able to sing, um, hold a note, you know, get up there. And now it's so difficult. My voice starts shaking. Um, and I know a lot of it has to do with this asthma and bronchitis. Um, but it really is difficult. Like, I'd be really wanting to raise, But it, it gets so difficult. It really does, but I'm going to keep on singing. Keep on singing. Look at Chapo, y'all. He just, he's living his best life. Living his best life. Dude. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. What's up? Good morning, little Pete. Look, minute you touch him, he won't fight and play. All I want to do is say good morning. That's all. That's all. I just want to do say good morning to everybody. That's all. I didn't want to scratch. I didn't want to nibble. None of that. Look, look. Come on here. Say good morning. Say good morning. <laughs> That's all you want to do. All you want to do is play. Right? Right? Don't be still so I can nibble on you. You going to nibble? Are you talking about me? <laughs> okay. Enough. <laughs> Enough. No more. Just wanted to say good morning to you. That's all. People just wanted to say hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's all we wanted to do. That's all we wanted to do was to say hello to you. <laughs> See, why we gotta do all that? Hmm? Why we gotta do all that? Why we can't just say hello? Only when you feel like it. Only when you feel like it. <laughs> this is what I deal with, y'all. This is what I deal with. Now, he want to be all cozy and hello. And how you doing and good morning? It's okay. I don't know what it is, but I still feel hungry in my neck. I still feel hungry in my throat. I don't know what that is. Like, it's... Whew, okay? I don't know. This weekend, my daughter, 
she went to her um, fiance's dad's. And they had a get together, a gathering for all the birthdays in June. Um, his birthday is June 20 something, 27, 26, 28, something like that. Um, his dad's birthday, his brother, they all have birthdays in June. So they were celebrating all the June birthdays at one time. I thought that was pretty awesome, pretty neat. And she stayed, she sent me pictures. They seem to all have to have enjoyed themselves. And I was so happy for that. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment um, to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to everyone with birthdays in June. We know we had um, Alex, Laville, my dad, um, earlier in June. And so um, then theirs is later in June. And then their dad my kids that birthday is June 29th so happy birthday to all the June babies I will definitely do a separate video just saying happy birthday to you all um, I want you all to you know just enjoy your day um, <laughs> be up now playing y'all Lord Jesus yo Jeremiah this morning confirmed it Remember I told you I was looking at the window and I saw that big freaking raccoon? Oh my god. I did a video I think on Saturday showing y'all where I believe he was going. Um, because when we first moved here that all that grass and wood or whatever wasn't there. So whoever owns that, they need to get in there and get that cut back down. And they need to do it quick and they need to be careful doing it. Because I believe it's hella raccoons in there. Um, Jeremiah came home yesterday. It was like, like I said, four o'clock in the morning. He was here talking to me. He was like, I just saw a bunch of raccoons going right. And I'm like, in a minute, them bad fellas gonna start coming in people's houses. That's what they about. That's what they're about to do. And I'm like, that's the last thing we need. Like, that's the last thing we need. They huge, y'all. Like. The one I saw was huge. Like, I'm talking about really being careful going to and from. If you have to move around at night, man, I might go get me a BB gun. For real, for real. If I have to move around at night, man, I'm not dealing with no raccoons. We not having no conversations. I'm not running. I'm, I'm just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Protecting myself. Because them bad fellas ain't no joke. Right? And your girl can't run like she used to. You know? I didn't gain weight. I can't breathe. I'm as good as caught. <laughs> I'm as good as caught. So we just go fight. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't gonna win. Not heads up. So I'm gonna have to have, I'm gonna get myself a BB gun. And it's pop, 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 pop. I know how to shoot. Dad took us to shoot. He made us learn. I know how to shoot now, um, and I, that's exactly what I'm going to do. My aim may be a bit off having one contact lens in at the moment, but look at this fool. He is actually jumping, leaping, like he, he's having a freaking good time. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Talking about you jumping around here. What you doing? Get off my table. Get off my table. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna stuff end up in the floor because of him. Y'all just saw him. He's happy this morning. I'm so glad he's happy. I really am. But, uh, uh. I'm so glad he's happy. So glad he's happy. Crazy cat. But oh, I'm thinking I'm sure y'all hear me over here. <laughs> y'all see my picture wall. I really have to get that together. At some point I will though. I really do have to get it together. I want it all black and white. All black and white. 
I really do have to get it together. I don't know what it is about the uh, legs of those tables that he is so infatuated with. Like, I have no idea. He just wraps around the legs, he jumps around, he just he just has a ball messing with the legs, the table. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all, there are some freaking big raccoons. I kid you not. And I was telling my sister about it. And I, I had told her when I was, the, the first time, hey, the first time I wasn't sure if it was raccoon, I could have sworn I saw a big fat raccoon walking across the street. But then there were, I'm sure it was, and there were a lot of cats um, standing around. They were just like looking. And she was like, look up coon cat. And I was like, coon cat? She said, look it up. Y'all, when I looked it up, it's raccoons that take advantage of cats. They hold them down, they rape the cats, right? <laughs> and then you have these raccoon cat babies. Well, I tell y'all, I was like, get out of here. They so cute and huge. And I was like, well, I wonder what their temperaments are if they have raccoons. She's like, they gentle giants. Let me show y'all. Coon cats, okay? Huge. Huge. Y'all look at this. I don't know if y'all can see. Y'all see them big freaking cats? Y'all see that? Y'all see how huge them cats are? They have so many different ones, so many different colors. Look at this dude and this freaking big cat. Look like small dogs, like they're huge. And that's because Wow. That's freaking crazy. Like, imagine the cat food. They got good ones, they got bad ones. You know, you got some with, you know, bad temperaments, some with good temperaments. I can only imagine. I mean, that can't be real. This absolutely can't be real. Look at that. You know that ain't. That cannot. The biggest cat in the world. Jesus. It's a big cat. Yeah, so anyway... Them some big cats. I didn't even know they had cats like that. I really didn't. I've seen some big cats, but I didn't know that that's why. <laughs> Raccoons, boy, no joke. Anyway, y'all, it's 8 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here so I can get ready for work. You guys have an amazing rest of the day. Um, I just drank all my coffee. Well, not all of it. It's about right here. I still have a bit left. I'll probably go and heat that little bit up because for some reason I have to have coffee when I start working um, even if I don't finish it um, and then there's water from that point on because I need to get more water in my system yeah, I'm so sleepy I, I hope that it's a quiet day I really do uh, I want it to go by fast but quiet you know I don't want it to be one of those days where it's just back to back back to back back you know no no I want it to just be slow really like dead even <laughs> I really do like I'm just that tired um 
if they offer a VTO, I probably won't take it, but it will be a struggle. Um, and I think I'm going to make my plasma day um, Tuesday and Thursday. Um, that way, I, like I said, I can have my weekend. I don't even want to do Fridays anymore. Friday, Saturday, nope. I'm going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I thought about even going today, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do Tuesday and Thursday. Um, so tomorrow, um, yeah, and, and, and just pray I can get in and out. So if they offer VTO tomorrow, then of course I would take it um, and just leave either two hours or an hour early. Jesus. Um, yeah, but I'm going to try to hang in there and not take any VTO offered because, you know, I can't, just can't afford it. My checks have been stupid short because of it. Um, but it's hard not to, you know. Um, but my checks have been short. Um, and not only because of that, just for, you know, um, me using my uh, rapid, you know, so that's been making it short. Um, so I want to get to the point where I don't have to do that anymore. You know, I just want to get back to where I was and better. So, yeah. Anyway, let me go ahead and let y'all go. Please enjoy your day. Um, please remember to say your prayers, not just for your family, friends, and loved ones, but for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, remember to treat people the way the Lord would, with grace, mercy, love, respect, kindness, okay? And expect great things, y'all. I'm expecting great things to happen to me today. Yesterday, a great thing was I remembered to pay that bill, <laughs> right? And I had the money to pay it. That's a great thing that happened to me um, yesterday. And I'm, I'm so grateful that the Lord reminded me or helped me to remember. I'm, I'm grateful for that. Um, that was good. So just expect great things, guys, to happen to you, through you, and for you. And then comment down below. Let me know what great things happen to you, through you, or for you. Let me know. Um, let's talk about it. Share it. You know, God is good. Let's share how good God is and has been to us. Um, as y'all can see, I tried to do my hair a little bit different. I did color it. Got some of that gray out. Um, I did comb about an inch or two off, or out, should I say. Um, because by me not doing what I was supposed to do, y'all, I was so just... It was so mad that you would think I had locks. <laughs> and I was just trying to pull it. Oh, it was horrible. But that was my fault because I had gotten lazy, you know. Um, and that's why when I first showed y'all my hair a while, a long time ago, it was like down here. And now it's not. And it's because I have not been taking care of it. Like I told y'all before about my Dr. Miracle, I do need to get my, um, stock up on my supplies, restock up on my supplies. And then, um give me some braiding hair and either braid it and keep it uh, right like you know a pr protective hairstyle for a while or if I'm going to keep it pulled back in a ponytail some sort of ponytail um, I need to go back to the way I was doing before and that is to take it down every night to um, comb it out brush it out 100 strokes my dad used to teach us that when we were um, younger um, I need to keep the Dr. Miracle, the um, uh, leave-in conditioner, the hair oil, the treatment, I need to keep that in. Um, and I just hadn't been doing that. And then when I do pull it back in the ponytail, I need to braid it. Um, I had not been doing that. I just been balling it up. And of course, it gets tangled, balled up, and then you throw all that stupid gel on there. Um, because I had run out of the edge control. All I'm doing is damaging my hair. Even up here, trying to get rid of the uh, gray, this is not jumping off of stuff, I'm watching him from here, but even up here trying to get rid of the gray, and then pulling it back in a ponytail, and just, you know, um, laying it down with the edge control, all I'm doing is, well, with the gel is damaging it, with the edge control is a little bit better, um, but it's harder to lay it down when it needs to be permed, and I haven't done that in a while, so, you know, just not taking care of it, well, you know, it's damaged, and it is, you know, nobody fault but me. Moi. Ah. 
So <laughs> I need to do better. Um, and I will. I will. And I'll try to, when I do get my products and stuff that I need, I will document it for you guys to see where I start. Honestly, where I, I'm restarting because, yeah, it's so damaged and broke out. It's unbelievable. You'd be like, what happened? Um, yeah, it's really bad. So I'll, I'll try to document that as I go. And then, like I said, part of my brain really wants to chop it all off. Like do a big chop and do it short and just, you know, pretty. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, guys, let me go ahead and get the heck up out of here. Um, log off and, and end the conversation with you guys. And go ahead and get my button in, sign in. It's 8.06. Ugh. Let me go. <laughs> Long I sit here, it's gonna be harder and harder. Y'all so crazy when you clean your eyes and stuff. It still feels like it's always something. And I think that's because of the cream, that sticky cream, the cortisone. It's so sticky, but I still like it. That pasty. It's still better than grease, oily grease. Like I can't do that oily grease. So yeah talk to you guys later have an amazing day and if it be the lord's will if i don't talk to you later today i will most definitely be at the lord's will talk to you on manana okay bye now